the personal computer patent, U.S. Patent No. 4, 136, 359, issued to Ed Roberts in 1979. Welcome to Patentomatics. In today's video, we will talk about the personal computer patent, U.S. Patent No. 4, 136, 359, issued to Ed Roberts in 1979. So before this video starts, please share, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Henry Edward Roberts was an American engineer, entrepreneur, and medical doctor who was best known for inventing the first personal computer that was a commercial success in 1974. He was born on September 13, 1941, and passed away on April 1, 2010. The title of father of the personal computer is the one by which he is most commonly known. Yet the first successful product was an electronic calculator kit, which was featured on the cover of the November 1971 edition of Popular Electronics. He established Microinstrumentation and Telemetry Systems MITS, in 1970 to sell electronics kits to model rocketry hobbyists. The calculators were an enormous commercial success, and in 1973 their sales surpassed $1 million. By 1974, the company was in a significant amount of debt as a result of a vicious price war for calculators. After that, Roberts created the personal computer known as the Altair 8800, which utilized the brand, new Intel 8080 microprocessor. The item was showcased on the cover of the January 1975 issue of Popular Electronics, and as a result, MITS was inundated with requests from amateurs looking to purchase this computer kit for $397. Henry Edward Ed Roberts was the son of Henry, who worked as an appliance repairman, and Edna, who worked as a nurse. He was born on September 13, 1941, in Miami, Florida. In addition, Roberts had a younger sister named Cheryl who was born in 1947. Roberts showed an early interest in electronics and even built a modest personal computer while he was still in high school. Despite this, Roberts' first love was always the practice of medicine. While he was a student at the University of Miami, he worked on constructing the electronic components of a heart, lung machine, which allowed him to integrate his two primary areas of interest. The success of this design encouraged Roberts to continue his education and get a degree in electrical engineering from Oklahoma State University, which he did in 1968. After that, he got a job with the Air Force and worked in their weapons laboratory in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was in Albuquerque that Roberts first had the idea to make computers that could be used in the home and then put that idea into action. These efforts would eventually result in the creation of a microcomputer called the Altair 8000, which was designed in 1974 by MITS, Microinstrumentation and Telemetry Systems. Bill Gates and Paul Allen, two young men who would go on to become prominent leaders in the field of computing, became interested in the MITS Altair project as it was being developed. At the time, Gates was a student at Harvard, while Allen was employed by the global giant Honeywell in the city of Boston. Together, the two would eventually develop a version of the programming language that was used to operate the Altair Basic machine. This programming language, which would eventually come to be known as Microsoft Basic, would eventually become the cornerstone for the success of Microsoft and launch Roberts' protégés into the stratosphere of fame and money. The pioneering work done by Roberts in the middle of the 1970s was an important factor in the turning point at which personal computers went from being simply curiosities to being vital components of the modern home. In 1977, when the personal computer industry was just beginning to take off in the 1980s, Roberts decided to sell his business. While Gates was able to build his fortune by harvesting the rich grounds of the personal computer industry, his mentor was unable to stay around long enough to experience its rewards. The fact that Roberts is now a millionaire as a result of the sale doesn't change the fact that, had he remained active in the computing sector, he undoubtedly would have amassed a fortune that was many times greater. Despite this, it would appear that he is content with the choice he made. Roberts was so out of touch with what was going on in the world of computing that he habitually avoided attending industry events commemorating the achievements he had helped bring about. Following his departure from the realm of computing, Roberts went on to explore other interests, such as farming and general medicine. In 1986, he received his medical degree from Mercer University. 
he worked as a physician in the quaint little of Cochrane, Georgia, for the better part of 35 years, pop. 5, 150 as of the 2010 census. Yet, Roberts never lost his enthusiasm for the field of electrical engineering, and he continued to invent things in his home right up until the time of his passing. Even though Bill Gates and Roberts disagreed on some point in the 1980s, Gates hurried over to Roberts' house as soon as he learned that his old mentor had become unwell. Just a few months before Roberts passed away at the age of 68, the two men were finally able to put their disagreements behind them. In a statement that was published in Gates' notes, Bill Gates and Paul Allen offered their sympathies on the death of their friend and guide. According to the statement, Ed was ready to take a chance on us, two young guys interested in computers long before they were commonplace, and we have always been thankful to him. After joining MITS to work on software development, Bill Gates and Paul Allen founded Microsoft with their first product being Altire Basic. Roberts sold MITS in 1977 and retired to Georgia, where he worked as a farmer, attended medical school, and eventually settled down as a general practitioner in the town of Cochrane in Georgia. Instrumentation and Telemetry Systems on a Microscale In the weapons laboratory, where they both worked, Forrest Mims and Roberts had a mutual interest in model rocketry. Roberts also built model rockets. At a rocketry conference, where Mims was working as an advisor for the Albuquerque Model Rocket Club, he was introduced to the publisher of Model Rocketry magazine. The result of this was an essay titled Transistorized Tracking Light for Night Launched Model Rockets that was published in the September 1969 issue of Model Rocketry. Roberts, Mims, and their co-workers at the laboratory, Stan Kegel and Bob Zoller, concluded that they could create and market electronics kits specifically for model rocket enthusiasts. Roberts proposed naming the new business Reliance Engineering, but Mims suggested coming up with an acronym that was analogous to MIT, which is the name of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Microinstrumentation and telemetry systems were conceived and developed by Kegel, MITS. They promoted the light flasher, a roll rate sensor with the transmitter, and several additional kits in model rocketry. Nevertheless, the sales were less than satisfactory. In the edition of Popular Electronics magazine that came out in November 1970, Mims penned an article about the emerging field of light, emitting diodes that was scheduled to be published. He inquired of the editors as to whether or not they were interested in a project tale, and they said that they were. Roberts and Mims came up with the idea for an LED communicator that could send a spoken signal through an infrared beam of light to a receiver that was located several hundred feet distant. MITS was selling a kit of parts for the Opticom LED communicator for $15, and interested readers could purchase it there. MITS sold a little over a hundred kits. After Mims had completed his time in the Air Force, he was free to pursue his dream of becoming a technology journalist. Roberts purchased out his initial business partners and refocused the company's attention on the rapidly expanding market for electronic calculators. Altair 8800 Computer Roberts decided to re-enter the computer kit industry with a more affordable device. The target consumer would view the requirement of some assembly required as a positive quality in a product. Roberts believed that the 8080 microprocessor from Intel was strong enough for his computer kit when it was first released in April 1974. However, each 8080 chip sold for $360 in tiny numbers at the time. Roberts believed that the cost of a computer kit ought to be less than $400. To achieve this figure, he agreed to place an order with Intel for 1.000 microprocessors for $75 apiece. The company had just 20 employees left, and they obtained a loan from the bank for $65,000 to finance the creation of the new computer and the beginning manufacture of it. Roberts informed the financial institution that he anticipated selling 800 computers, but he estimated that he would only sell about 200 of them. Popular Electronics Editorial Director Art Salzberg was seeking a computer construction project and his technical editor Les Solomon was aware that MITS was working on an Intel 8080-based computer kit at the time. Solomon was reassured by Roberts that the project would be finished by November in time to fulfill the press deadline for the issue that would be published in January 1975. In October, the prototype was completed, and it was sent to Popular Electronics in New York for the cover image. However, it was misplaced while it was being transported. 
Solomon already possessed several images of the device, and the essay was constructed with those images as its foundation. Roberts and Yates immediately began working on the construction of a substitute. The computer that appeared on the front of the magazine was nothing more than a box with some buttons and lights on the front panel. The completed Altair computer featured a unique arrangement of its circuit boards compared to the prototype that was presented in the publication. 1976 was a successful year for MITS, with 230 employees and $6 million in revenue. Roberts was seeking a larger partner since he had grown weary of the management obligations that he was responsible for. Disk drives manufactured by Pertech Computer Company were the only kind that MITS had ever utilized, and on December 3, 1976, Pertech signed a letter of intent to acquire MITS in exchange for $6 million worth of stock. May of 1977 saw the transaction's successful conclusion, with Roberts receiving between $2 and $3 million as his fair share. The Altair product line was folded into the Pertech product line, and the MITS facility was put to use in the production of a small, business computer called the PCC-2000. The Albuquerque plant was shut down in December of 1980, and all production was transferred to plants located in Irvine, California, belonging to the Pertech company. How did you like the video? Do you like it? Leave your valuable comments in the comment section below, and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel Potentomatics on YouTube.